very quiet. Got him! Why does it sound like a bzzz, I'm gonna sting you? Hey, who's throwing rocks at you? Whoa! Some jerk! Are you kidding me? Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the basement, basement, the friendliest, friendliest place, place on YouTube. YouTube. Presenting the newest addition to our character tree, B-Boys! <laughs> I'm the B-Boy, I'm gonna sting you with my sword. Uh, B-Boy, it is time to fly! I don't know if you're ready, but uh, if you guys were watching the last episode of this, I terribly botched this. We're gonna make it happen on the first attempt this time. On the first attempt. We say this every take. Time to fly! Zoom. Yeah, we nailed it. Nice, and on the am first attempt. Am I flying attempt. on the right direction-ish? I am. <laughs> We're going to blue. You probably should have, uh... Well, I meant, like, am I am I going perfectly that way, or... Oh, I get what you're saying. Because your momentum is one thing, but the direction you face oh, is another. Oh, this is the one where we got to ride a deer. Let's see if I can just land on one. Once upon a time, I was riding a deer, and then I fell off and had to drink root beer. Be very quiet. Got him! Why does it sound like a bzzz, I'm gonna sting you? Hey, who's throwing rocks at you? Whoa! Some jerk! Are you kidding me? That was perfect! Get out of here! You dumb, stupid enemies in this game! I'm so tired of you wrecking all of my plans! I do For hate real. The night skull enemies. I had that guy! I landed on that deer fair and square. Well, you landed next to him. Also, you failed to notice the rocks hitting. Like, three rocks hit you, and I kept thinking... Well, I was trying to move forward, Ted's but the deer, Ted's gonna startle of any moment. <laughs> well, that deer was not moving. I was trying to get him to, like, go forward and get away from the rocks. Yeah. But what the stinking heck? Ugh! B-Boy is raging right now. Yeah, we're gonna I'm have to... I'm actually mad at the, the stupid Stalbocoblins. We're gonna have to retire B-Boy after this episode. He's not family friendly. We, we got off to a bad... We got B -start. off on the wrong wing. Well, what's, what's really dumb about it is now we have to go and find one. Like, it was right there. And now it's a stake in our pocket. That is not helpful. Maybe we could just put the stake down on the on the shrine thing and that'll activate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, eh, close enough. Eh. I could tell this used to be deer. So what are you <laughs> going to do? Look for deer? That's the only option we have, Peter. Well, why don't you, maybe you should make a bonfire and make it morning. And then there will be deer. And there won't be any skeleton enemies. Fair per enough. the mechanics of the game. Fair enough. All right. Time for B-Boy to craft a fire. <laughs> oh no, there's fire. I must fill my guts with honey and escape. <laughs> That's what they do. Did everyone see That's Ted take a direct route to morning? <laughs> Was I on afternoon and I went down to go back up? No, you were on morning. <laughs> and you went like down, down, noon, night, noon, night, noon, morning. Click. <laughs> it's okay, you don't need to run away anymore. You're safe. You're safe, deer. You're safe. You're safe. That deer's gonna get all tired out. It's gonna be easier to catch it. Shoot. Can you stasis it and then catch it? No. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah. Did you grab him by the antler? Probably. That'd be sweet. Yes, B-Boy riding my deer steed. You'd think they'd be faster. I know, I mean, there was plenty faster than it was running away from me. Well, I guess it's carrying a significant Well, Whoa, that is a fire over there. You're a fire. I wonder what's happening. Maybe there's a fire. I mean, if you talk to Cass, he says, you gotta find a crowned steed or something like that. 
and park it on top of this thing. Find but an we animal. We knew how to do that already because we're B <laughs> Also, because this game came out three and a half years ago, and we still don't know when the sequel is anything, anything. <laughs> Nintendo, please help us. We are picking our eyeballs out with rusty Gross. spoons. Oh, Ted, terrible. Just trying to survive. How would that help our survival? I don't know. Okay, you try that. I'll try just keeping my eye on <laughs> I'll just keep waiting. I'll just be patient. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep my rusty spoon in the rusty spoon drawer. Mezzalo. As B boy. One day I'm going to have two rusty spoon drawers. One's going to be a rusty drawer with spoons in it, and one's going to be a drawer with rusty spoons in it. That's a great idea. And then I'll have a third silverware drawer for everyday use. Knives, forks, even spoons. Mmm. Maybe an apple peeler. An apple corer and slicer. A potato peeler. Or maybe a spoon drawer that just belongs to a guy named Rusty. A pizza cutter. An ice cream scoop. What do you guys... A spatula. What do you guys have in your silverware drawer? Ooh, what's this? Do you have... Do you keep your steak knives in there? Do you keep your potato peeler in there? Do you... I have a strawberry husker. This is not... This is a waste of time and effort. <laughs> it's possible, but I'm not going to try to do it anymore. That was it. That was my attempt. Lots of things are possible. Um, oh, hi, Nicole Kidman. Welcome to the basement. Nicole Kidman just walked through the door. But she just left again. She was like, wait, wrong wrong turn. Wrong, yeah, I meant to go to Australia, <laughs> where I'm from. <laughs> to meet Mr. A-game. <laughs> hey, A-game. If uh, Nicole Kidman is your next Alanis Morissette, give me a call. Ooh, look Ooh. at this. See oh. that? See that there? Oh. Mmm. See, now it'll move wherever we... It'll just keep moving. Then we just have to play the waiting game. What do you mean it will keep moving? I thought it would keep moving, but apparently not. Yeah, apparently not. But we can do this. Yes, we can. Thank goodness you don't have to wait for it to every time, you know. You can undo it. Like that? Yeah, to give yourself a quarter of the cooldown. It's pretty cool that you can do this from kind of anywhere. Yeah. Well, can you? I guess we'll find out. Congo? I thought we are naming African countries. Kenya? <laughs> Congo? Republic Ooh. of Congo? <laughs> oh, my inventory's full. Actually, that'd be a great weapon for B Boy. Republic of We're gonna Congo? drop this dumb torch. I know Peter like torches. <laughs> I don't like torches. I like spears. Ooh, B Boy, I have the thunder blade. That is cool, dude. B Boy is like a pretty sweet-looking character, honestly. <laughs> Stay away from the hunted curb. <laughs> Not uh, neither of our favorite colors is yellow, by the way. What's your favorite color, Peter? Uh, yours is green. Yep, basement green. Mine's blue. Basement blue. That's why we had green and blue beds in I our... I bet this is going to fall off. Yep. Well, stasis it. It's all right. We can just do this. Set your big fat box on it. That was my plan. <laughs> yeah, baby. Not bad for a couple of guys making toot noises in a basement. My bomb's just down there, just chilling. Just think, kids, one day you could be as successful as us. Just make poop noises in a basement. Yeah. In front of a camera. You'll get there. Well, just in front of a microphone. Yeah, really. Eh. Shrine completed. Yes. I wonder if there's a YouTube channel. Strikes again. Biz, 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 biz. That's just toot noises. Buzz, buzz. And they're like the best. You know, that could be my son. That could be your son? He's really good at toot noises. Uh, Peter hates bees, by the way, guys. He's not allergic, but he just does not like bees. I was very brave with some bees earlier today. I sprayed them. They're Ooh. going into my the walls of my garage through a little hole. Were they wasps or hornets of some type? Uh, you know, I did not. You, know, you don't know the difference? I didn't get close enough to tell. I just saw yellow and black stripes and sprayed poison on them. All right. So next up is yellow. So that's where we're going. Yellow. Goodbye. Well, hi there. 
You are the weakest link. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. That Was that lady. lady known for anything besides that show? I feel like she might have been something else, too. No. Really? That was her only thing. I hope so. Somebody needs to look up the weakest link lady and let us know in the comments below. Was she known from something else? Yeah, let us know. You are the weakest link. Is that what? Goodbye. Is that what it was called? The weakest link. Yes. No, not my nickname. The name of the show. Oh, is this the one? The blood moon and naked. Everybody wants to be naked and uh, famous. This is going to be a legit thing, Peter. <laughs> oh, the one where we have to wait for the blood moon? Yeah. Well, it's been a while. It's been a while. Hold my head up high. Well, she's still alive. Um, she was on a show you've never heard of, and another show you've never heard of, and The Weakest Link. I, what's that? I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> That's the thing we were talking about. It was a BBC game show, and then she reprised the role in an American version of the show. Well, you want to know my secret to what we're about to do, Peter? Yes. We are going to go do other things for the rest of this episode, because we can't do the shrine until the next Blood Moon happens, but I'm going to place one travel medallion that you were being all like we don't need that uh but i grabbed it anyway we're gonna place the travel medallion right there so next time we have a blood moon we can come and do the shrine she's 75 years old wow i mean she was kind of oldish looking when she ran the what are the shows that i've never heard of because you just assumed i've never heard of them but maybe i have points of view yeah i love that show i'm what is that show i'm not gonna click it's on probably that. some political commentary show to be honest. Some British program. Watchdog. Nope. Yeah. Uh, celebrity daddy. edition of the program in aid of children in need. Nope. Yeah. Don't care about that. In 1973, <laughs> her name is Anne Robinson. In 1973, Robinson lost a custody battle for her only child, Emma, then oh. aged two. Sad. How old is she now then? 48. I wonder if she finally got custody. <laughs> Charles Wilson was granted sole custody, care, and control of Emma, who subsequently lived with her father until she left home at 16 for boarding school. Check that out next Blood Moon, Peter. We just got to remember to travel here and take off all our clothes. Because that's how that shrine works. That's, right. Well, that's pretty great. Where are we headed Oh, now? yeah, you have to stand on it naked. Uh, well, I mean, you could unlock travel points at green. That's a great idea. Let's unlock pink. travel points. It's hard to lose custody as a female. I mean, I don't know if it's different in the United Kingdom than it is in America. It's true. They kind of give but a little bit But for the more. guy to get full custody is like, uh... It's po I mean, she may have had like a drug, drug problem or something she and got had, clean later. She had an alcohol problem. Oh, yeah. An admitted That's... alcoholic, Robinson stopped drinking on the 12th of December in 1978. Good after, for her. After picking up her daughter from school and driving to a petrol station to buy a bottle of adult beverage. Oh, well, that would definitely... Uh, Russian adult beverage. Pro cause a problem. She quit drinking after she did that? Beverage drinks you! Did she say did they say that she quit after that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, good for her. I'm glad she got that figured out, although it's a shame that her kid went from two to seven before... Wow, she wrote an autobiography called Memoirs of an Unfit Mother. See? She's a stand-up lady. She was the weakest link, but then she became the strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was. Peter, you missed it. I'd had like two really good bomb impact launches while you were reading stories and Shut such. the front door. You did not. There's no way. I did. Maybe Re the problem is me the looking. It probably is, to be honest. I'm like that um the proton double slit yep. experiment. B time. Do you know about the double slit experiment? Yep, I do. They got the, they got like a... Am I a wave or am I a particle? I don't know. Exactly. It all depends on if you're watching. They shoot... Uh, don't look! They I'm being shoot... a wave! <laughs> Never mind, you guys can... Knock first! <laughs> that does this thing sometimes when I get excited to say something that he just interrupts every word until I stop. No. He doesn't want me to tell the story tonight. Ooh, it's one of these, huh? Jacob's Ladder. 
Link's ladder. Oh, this is a terrible one. I'm. I got this. <clears throat> I'm glad you ended up playing this episode, even though I had expressed interest because I do not like the shrine or the Blood Moon Naked Shrine, and I wouldn't have gotten the Travel Medallion. And I've episode. cut off so much of our travel time by doing these awesome moves. Guys, Ted's yanking my chain, right? While I was looking at Ann Robinson's Wikipedia page, he was just regular traveling. Because that would be the only way to get from point A to point B quickly enough. Come on, work. Dang it, work. No! Dude, this that was a great shot. This thing is so hard. It's, it's you gotta do four aiming it perfectly. It's not too bad. Well, but only the fourth one has to be aimed. I remember tipping the camera straight up, like head down, getting walking up to it, you know, ultra straight. That's not four. That's too oh, you're, hard. You're right, you're right. I know, but... So the dumb thing is when you Z-target something, it doesn't go behind it. Yeah. Like, so you can't Z-target this thing. You have to, like, do that. Gets... <sighs> that might do it. If you're right about four... Hold on! I did five and it went way over. I did four and it went way under. I don't think this thing is very uh, can you consistent. Put, can you put a bomb in front of it? No, I think that that's that makes it worse. I, I did it with just the hammer at one point in my life. Dang it. That is definitely wearing down the durability of that thing, too. I know. That's it. Oh! I almost switched it! You okay. can't swish it though. It's not like it's a hole. And you're using the durability on the no, switch. No, that doesn't that doesn't lower the durability. Oh, does it really? Okay. I don't think so. I've wasted so much time switching weapons. I'm not sure I agree with this whole can every attempt approach it haphazardly and hope for the best. No, this is method. this is way better than your method. Because you spent a whole episode trying to do this once. And I just did this recently in a stream, and it worked great. So I think what we need to do is we need to get right up to it, because that actually changes the trajectory. Makes it higher. Okay, okay. That was four. See how it's a lot higher now? Great aim. Okay, so we're going to do five like that. Right up close to Why it. Why were you sure it was four? I thought it was, but I was apparently wrong. Oh. Well, you're allowed to be wrong from time to time. One, two, three, four, five. Do, re, mi, fa, so many attempts. Oh, what was that, Peter? So many attempts? Yeah. Oh! It took so many attempts. Good job. See you later. I can't believe you threw right. the hammer all the way into the... <laughs> and we needed it still. Wait, we do? No, we can use anything else. Oh. At this point, it's just about beating this thing into submission. Sounds like nothing I've experienced in my life. Is that gonna smash you? Like a bee! <laughs> <laughs> it's like hitting a bee with a fly swatter. <laughs> a big giant fly swatter. Do they sell bee swatters? Do they sell bee sweaters? What's in the chest? There, th you have to do another challenge over there, and it's way worse. You really? We're not doing it. What's in the chest? Someone can tell us in the comments, Ted, but I'm not doing it on camera. You just broke the alphabetic sequence of shrines. Are you kidding? No. What was the name of this shrine? We're waiting for the Blood Moon naked one. Shoot, I wasn't supposed- Oh, no! <laughs> I got so carried away just doing the thing. Yeah, we were supposed to just unlock it. I was supposed to just do a warp. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you didn't stop me. No, I You're didn't. You're equally I at forgot. Fault Once here. you were done, I was like, sweet, I can mark this off. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so we're- Darn you! We're making an exception for the naked blood moon one. Okay, go to pink. So we'll just do it when the next blood moon comes. Yeah, okay, I'm going to actually not- We So we already have a warp point at pink. Yeah. So I'm actually just not going to go there. Wait. We're going to do something different. 
So, so that way we can we can do the rest in the alphabetical order. This one's just a little out of order. That's all. You're out of order. So you're not gonna. So we're gonna. So you're okay with being barely imperfect? Hey, it's better than being way imperfect. What happened to my phone? I don't know, Peter. Oh, it's over here. I don't know how far we are into this episode. I bet it's about time. In, In the, the basement. basement.